The Kuiper family bought the tavern from former longtime owner Gail Winston in 2012. Son Jared is executive chef, son Jordan runs the bar, Lori Kuiper oversees the baking, and her husband Rick manages. Although the atmosphere is still historic, the menu has been heavily modernized with a few old favorites remaining. Now, I'm lucky enough to be here at Sunday brunch, but you know, I might just as well have come at dinner time and enjoyed some wild boar shank or some lovely farm-raised catfish. Let me show you what we have here, though. Feast your eyes on this, a crawfish cake, similar to a crab cake, topped with beautiful poached eggs, smoked tomato, hollandaise, some regular hollandaise, and this is a hominy succotash. Can't wait to get into that. Mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. You know, you just don't run into a cake with crawfish in it very often. That's so nice and sweet, has a little tang to it. Oh boy, mmm, love it. Now here's a side dish you don't see too often, hominy succotash. Not only is there hominy in there, you have butter beans, you have corn, there's also some asparagus and some wilted spinach, a few other things. Hmm, no, I'm impressed. That's really inventive. Lovely. This is gorgeous. The quiche of the day topped with hollandaise. This is a Smithfield ham, bacon, and caramelized onion quiche. Mm -hmm. After a rich quiche, how about a nice fruity salad? You have... Uh, great tomatoes there, but it's on the sweet side. This is a peach salad, so you have Johnson peaches, you have a peach vinaigrette, and you have candied pecans and macerated cranberries there. All in all, that is really something. Mmm. The candied pecans are coated in a sugary beaten egg white meringue, and the tart local goat cheese balances the overall sweetness of the peach salad admirably. Pumpkin muffins are a huge hit to the tune of five to six hundred of them some days, and they really show off the pastry chef skills of Lori Kuiper. Oh, marvelous. So people have the pumpkin muffins they figure if they're that great, I gotta try dessert as well. So they go on to try things like her really famous syllabub and other wonderful desserts. Now I wanna try this gorgeous Reuben sandwich. Oh my. Mm. The rye bread with less rye flour is a little less strong flavored than some. The corned beef comes from nearby Rowan County, and the sauerkraut is homemade, crunchy, organic, and downright delicious. Mm, 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 mm. The bar uses quite a few North Carolina made liquors. It's a lot of fun for us. Uh, we, we come up with a different cocktail every single day uh, that's creative to the tavern. And it's a lot of fun to be able to play with the products North Carolina gives us. And you should ask about recent awards for drink menus, cocktails, and bartending skill. The current tavern was built as an annex to the original tavern, and it used to be connected to the original, which is seen to the left in this 1866 photo. That building, where George Washington once stayed, is now a museum. History with welcome modern touches is working well for the new proprietors at the Tavern in Old Salem. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Bob Garner. The Tavern in Old Salem is at 736 South Main Street in Winston-Salem, and it's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Saturday and for brunch on Sunday. It's closed on Monday. For more information, give them a call at 336 722-1227 or go online to the tavern in old salem.ws